Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be about how to configure PlexPy. So once we've got PlexPy installed, we'll be greeted with this setup wizard screen. So nothing to do on this first screen, just go ahead and click next. On the second screen, we're going to give our Plex username and password. So what you're going to do on this screen is you're going to type in your Plex username and password and then click authenticate. If you put your credentials in properly, you'll see authentication successful and token generated. So We'll go ahead and do that and then click next. Okay, on this uh, screen you should see uh, a drop down that gets populated from your Plex servers after you've logged into your account. So go ahead and click one of your Plex servers and then go ahead and click use SSL if we want. And go ahead and click next. And you can choose which options you want here. Enable movie logging, TV show logging, or music logging. If you don't care about one of those, you can uncheck them. And um, to test this, let's go ahead and set this to one minute because, uh, or sorry, five seconds. That way if we test it out and we play a video for five seconds, it'll not be ignored uh, by PlexPy. So any video that's, that we watch for a shorter time period than what we have set here won't show up as being watched. So let's go ahead and test Enable Notifications on Movie Playback. You could do all of these, but for testing purposes, we're just going to do Movies. I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish. Alright, and we have uh, our My History <laughs> up right now. Um, what I can do is go ahead and go to my Plex. So I'm signed into my Plex right now, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and test watching a movie. So, right now you can see uh, in my history right here what I've watched recently. And I'm going to go ahead and click on something different. So, let's see, uh, let's click on this. Let's see, let's watch this for more than five seconds think that's been more than five seconds. Let's go back over to PlexPy and you can see our activity here. So if we wanted to get notifications for things like that, what we could do is go over to our settings click on notification agents and here's where we can set up notifications such as say Twitter or email First, let's test out setting up email. I'm going to click right here. From name, we can leave that as PlexPy. Um, from, put your Gmail address in the to box. Put a, whatever address you want to uh, send that to. Could also be your same Gmail address. If you want to put any CCs or BCCs on there, and. Uh, SMTP server, I have that up right here for Gmail. Pretty simple one, smtp.gmail.com. Actually, we're going to use the TLS port for this because I don't see an SSL um, checkbox, but I do see a TLS checkbox here. And you're going to want to put in your username and password for Gmail on here to be able to send that. And once you have all that stuff above set uh, filled in, I'm going to click Test Email right here. It says Notification Failed. So right when I tried to send that via Gmail, I got this notification in my Gmail that uh, that you have to turn on less secure app access to allow that to go through Gmail. So you can always set up your own SMTP server, which I'll probably do a tutorial on at some point, or use some other SMTP server besides uh, Google to send that email. So it looks like besides Gmail blocking that less secure login, that that should have worked. Um, so 
let's go ahead and skip that testing of the email and we'll go ahead and try Twitter now. We're going to right click on Twitter apps and click open link in new tab. Click on create new app. Okay, so for name we're going to put Plex Pi app one. Um, you can't take one that's already taken, so you'll have to make something else up. Plex Pi app two, something or other. Um, description has to be at least ten characters. So something longer than ten characters. Website can't use a website that's already taken, so just make one up. Come down and click yes to the developer agreement and click create your Twitter application. So we're going to go over to keys and access tokens and take our Twitter consumer key and post it here. Twitter consumer secret We're going to generate an access token. And an access token secret and copy that into place. Let's check include poster image. We're going to click test Twitter. that says notification sent and in my Twitter there is now a test notification and then come down and click save so to actually turn a notification agent on we have to go down to that notification agent and click the little bell next to it so I'm going to go ahead and do that on Twitter. And check notify on playback start. Notify on watched and I guess notify on resume. Let's try those for now. Then I'm going to go over to Plex and click on a movie. So that's supposed to take at least 60 seconds before that will post. And there we go. As you can see, that's the movie I started playing, and it is posted to Twitter. So before actually turning that Twitter uh, notification on, I did go in there and turn off uh, to include the poster image with the, with the tweet. So that's why that didn't show up in there. Um, so obviously, any of these are going to uh, have their own different instructions built in, like if you want to post to Slack, for example, that shouldn't be too hard to set up the, the webhook URL you'll be able to get from Slack. Each one of these is going to be different. Facebook's going to be somewhat similar. Um, it's got all the instructions you need in there to set that up, right? That should be basically all there is to getting a basic PlexPy up and going. That completes our tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.